All right, for this sample video, I'm going to show you how to do an area cut as well as how to cut your image on the vinyl cutter. And so, as you can see, we have a variety of objects here on the desktop. It really doesn't matter where the items are in reference to that sample sheet of paper. What we're going to do is we're just going to select the Trojan. So I'm just going to hold down and select this Trojan because that's the only thing that I want to cut. And so in order to cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button right up here. It looks like the blade that is on the vinyl cutter. And so I'm going to cut that and I'm going to make sure that it says Titan 2 um, and that uh, it's listed there because that's our vinyl cutter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an area test first. And what this does is this has the vinyl cutter go through the process of making sure the area test is proper. I always do this before I cut items because you wanna make sure that it's lined up with the vinyl. You don't wanna waste any more vinyl than you have to. Um, and it also sets that vinyl. So it's nice and, and, uh, and flat right on the vinyl cutter. Um, so that when it goes to cut it, it just cuts it so much smoother. So I always suggest that you do an area test first. So you'll run that, it'll ask you, are you sure you wanna run the area test? And you say, yes, it'll run the motors um, and make sure that it's all in line with, with the image that you want to cut. And then once you've done the area test, this same screen stays up and then you just click cut now whenever you're ready to cut and then it'll cut out your your image or your text. And it's that simple as far as running an area test and then cutting your actual vinyl.